Hey everyone, this is Lino. Welcome back to the Crafty Morocco YouTube channel. Today I'm featuring these newly released products called Glamorous Birthday and the Times Square Morocco Paradise. So first of all, I have cut down a slim size panel and I die cut the Times Square Morocco Paradise out of this slimline panel. Now I have here my slimline card base as well and I just traced those outer windows because I'm going to create a background on my slimline card base using some leftovers from the barn on slimline die that I used in the past. So as you can see here I have several strips, some pink, some blues, um, these are from Concord the Ninth and they will be listed down below the colors that I'm using. Now the most important thing is to get that first bar straight and once that's straight I can just add all those others next to it and just build that background. So I'm using my T-square ruler to make sure that I have it lined straight. And once that's done, I can just add all the rest. So I'm just using some liquid glue and then I'm going to add all of these strips right against each other until this slimline card base is completely filled there where I have those windows. So this is a really quick and fun way to create your background. I love using these leftover bars. They are just perfect. And well, if you use the barn on slimline die, you have a lot of those bars left over if you're not using it for that card specifically. So that helps. And once this background is ready, I am going to continue with the sentiment. So I'm not going to show you all of the strips. You kind of get the idea. This is the final one or just one more. And then I am first going to add my sentiment. That one is going to be on the bottom of this slimline panel. And then I will start with the images. So I'm going to stamp out this sentiment using just regular black ink. This is the Gina K Designs Amalgam ink, but any black ink do, does the job. Um, so I'm just stamping that out. I'm doing that twice. This stamp set is new and I'm not one that is prepping her stamp, so sometimes I just need to stamp it out a few times. So the images that I'm going to use today are these and I just love these llamas. They are so adorable and they are cute and fluffy and well, I like them. So I'm using my Copic markers today. So the paper that I have here is Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper. And I'm going from my darkest towards my lightest Copic marker color for each color combination. Also, I decided to keep the coloring quite simple. And I mean with that, that I'm just, I'm not using a ton of color combinations. Um, I want everything to match and the more colors you will use, the harder it will get to combine everything together. It's possible, but just for today, I decided with already all those colors behind the windows that it would be lovely to keep it sort of in the same color combination and then use this pink, for example, also for the plaid on the llama. So for these wings of the butterflies, I am doing a bit of flicking in the wings itself to get the shadow but I'm not doing anything fancy or anything like that onto the cacti I love this this is a bright green and I just thought that it fit well with the blues and the pinks um, also it's another bright color that can really cheer up your card um, this green combination is one of my favorites also making sure that I have a pink coming back again. Um, it was a bit too harsh, so I decided to go over there with my colorless blender and make some room for a lighter pink of my combination that I used earlier. Now for the llama, I wanted to have that fluffy look. So I, well, it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing here, uh, but I'm not just um, adding a bit of shadow on the edges. I am um, sort of 
doing the curls a bit further than intended by um, the designer of the stamp uh, but just this way you really have that fluffy look and the areas where there is a lot of white space there I will add a few of those curls as well to have the idea of the of the fur going on there as well and then I will just work my way to the lighter colors and go again next to all the darker areas that I added just to get that blending going on um, and then I will return and do that once again because I just find with this paper that I have a better blending when I have at least two layers so that's what I'm doing nothing fancy for the rest and I really really like the end result I think it's really it has a really soft look and I really like that So I'm working my way to my lightest color and then I'm going back in with the darkest. Isn't this a really fluffy llama? It was what I intended so I hope it does. Um, so here I'm going back over it. Just sometimes when you add lighter colors the dark one sort of fades away. And that's not what I'm going for, I just want a nice blend. So this is helping me with that. And then I will finish everything off with those pinks of the butterfly. Um, also on the necklace. And then the coloring is sort of completely finished already. So it wasn't a lot of coloring, I didn't took like a lot of images because I already have that background going on there. Um, so I just wanted both items to really complement each other and not to fight with each other. So here I'm also not really doing any shadows here because it's really detailed. Uh, but it's hard to get shadows going on here um, so I just varied in the different uh, pinks that I used earlier for every part of this or these accessories with that being done I am going to take the matching dies and cut all of these images out. I love matching dies, um, I think it's so handy. Um, so I'm really glad that I have these for the llamas, especially because this way they also have that fluffy outer white border and I just love it. So back onto my backgrounds. Here I'm going to create a shaker card. So I have here a piece of acetate and I'm just adding it behind the windows. Um, and then I'm going to fill the back of this panel with some foam tape. Now this is a Scotch 3M foam tape. It's really handy, it's a bit too thick to go everywhere but I'm just cutting it in half. If needed I can cut it even more. Um, and if you have sequins that are really thick then I would suggest doubling your foam tape. Now in my case I'm going to use some Darius sequins and these are really flat ones uh, so that's why I was happy with just using one layer of foam tape but just keep it in mind it all depends on how much wiggle room you want to have and the thickness of your sequins uh, that you might need to add another layer or thicker foam tape if you have that at home. So these are my sequins, they are 5mm and 8mm um, and I'm just going to roughly add them on my slimline card base there where the windows are so I'm just eyeing where I need to add them and once they are added and I like the amount I am going to remove the backings of my foam tape and then add this panel on the slimline card base.
and once it's on there I can start shaking but first make sure that you really press down your panel enough before you start shaking because in the past I already did that without pressing uh, enough and then the sequence got stuck um, so that's not the idea and then with that being done I'm going to add all of these images on top of this card some with liquid glue, others with thin foam squares, just to get some dimension going. These foam squares are from Scrapbook Adhesives and they are just fabulous. I love using them. Um, so I'm making sure that I'm covering the back of my images as much as possible, just to make sure that when I'm mailing these cards, that they won't get, like, ruined. Just like creases in it or anything like that um, but you don't need to but I just prefer really adding lots and lots of foam tape or foam squares and once everything is on my background I'm going to embellish these images with some stickles just adding a tiny bit more bling to the card and today I am going to use the diamond stickles. There are lots of different stickles out there, even with colors. Um, I prefer having some neutral stickles and then I can add it to any color I have used on my images without it messing up or covering the color of it. So I'm just adding those and as you can see, since this is a slimline card, I really try to uh, add images in a vertical way to really show the slim line here and I really really like how it turned out. So I'm just adding some final details and then this card is completely finished. I hope that you enjoyed this video and of course that you like the end result, that you have seen all of the amazing products released this week and in the upcoming weeks there will be even more. So I hope that you will love everything as much as I do because these releases are going to be awesome. I want to thank you all for stopping by and taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you have an amazing day left and I will be back soon with some new crafty inspiration. Bye!